Hello, my name's Kate Ford. I'm a specialist respiratory physiotherapist working at UHBW Hospitals. And I'd like to talk to you today about techniques of relaxation and breathing control. When we're breathing, what we need to be using is our diaphragm, which is a, a muscle underneath your ribs with your tummy. What can tend to happen though, is we can tend to use the top part of our chest like Caroline is demonstrating here. This isn't the way that we need to be breathing because we're using lots of muscles here that aren't designed for breathing over a long period of time. So it's really important that what we do is that we work at dropping our shoulders and using our diaphragm for breathing. So if you can just place your hand on your tummy there and one place hand on the top of your chest. When you do this, what you should be doing when you're breathing at rest is that you should feel your tummy doing most of the movement rather than the top part of the chest. And the way that you do that is by feeling that your ribs are coming out into your hands and relax, but a nice gentle breath. So not using the top part of your shoulders, but feeling your ribs moving like a bucket handle. So that moving out and up and down. And that's a nice gentle breath from your tummy and your ribs. When you're breathing, you should be using your nose to breathe in, and you can breathe out through your nose or your mouth. But the most important thing is to be remembering to be breathing from your tummy. So shoulders down, tummy out, and relax. What's really important with this type of breathing is that it's not a big breath. It's a breath to the bottom of your lungs. So it's a normal breath, a gentle breath, drawing the air to the bottom of your lungs so that you're ventilating all of your lungs rather than just the top part of your chest. And these exercises can just be used throughout the day. So whenever you're watching TV, listening to the radio, just at rest, sitting, these are the exercises you need to be doing and being aware that your breathing is coming from your tummy and not the top part of your shoulders. If you're breathing from the top part of your shoulders, then you'll notice that your shoulders are higher and that you will find it difficult to draw air into the bottom part of your lungs. It can also be helpful to look into a mirror and by making sure that you put one hand on your tummy, one hand on the top part of your chest and watching yourself moving from your tummy and not your top part of your chest. So nice gentle breaths in and out. And the breath should be in through your nose and out through your nose if you can, or in through your nose and out through your lips to make it nice and gentle. Practicing that every day will mean that you will be able to get more used to this and be able to do it more naturally when you're not even thinking about it. So to practice gentle breathing, correct breathing, from the bottom part of your lung is really important every day to make sure your shoulders aren't moving, that your chest is nice and still, and that's your tummy and your ribs at the side that are coming out for nice relaxation. Okay. So what I'd like to do next is to move on to doing some breathing exercises in lying. Lying is a much easier position to practice your breathing. So, if we can get you lying on your back, making it nice and comfortable with as many pillows as it needs to make you feel comfortable. So you don't need to be lying flat. You can also have a pillow underneath your knees as well to make it more comfortable for you. Now, if you just put your hand on your tummy again and hand on the top part of your chest. So again, here you can see a different angle there of that the breathing is coming from the tummy and down. And again, making sure that your ribs are moving up and out and you're not getting the movement from up here. Now in this position, what we can do is to make sure that you are nice and relaxed is to do a technique called hold relax. And what that does is that makes sure that your muscles in your shoulders and your arms and your legs across your body are as relaxed as they can be to enable you to use your diaphragm as best you can. So with this technique, it means that maximum contraction of your muscles leads to maximum relaxation. 
So to start with, if you can just put your hands by your side and if you can pull your shoulders up to your ears, hold them there and just drop them down. Good. And feel them coming far away from your shoulders there, okay. So draw your shoulders up to your ears, hold for one, two, three and just drop them down. And the idea is that you're making them feel nice and heavy so that you're using the plinth to relax onto your bed and to make sure that you're not overusing these muscles. So we do that once more, shoulders up and relax, good. And so that's really making sure that you feel that your shoulders are not sitting up near your ears, that they drop down nicely and not using the muscles that shouldn't be working. This time what I want you to do is if you can push your elbows back into the bed there. So push down, push down, push down, three and relax. Good, nice and gentle breathing in between. And again, push your elbows down, push, 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 and relax. Lovely. And one more there, push your elbows down, push, 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 and relax. So again, you're relaxing your shoulders and your arms there so that everything's feeling much more able to be not taking that stress in the top part of your body. This time what I'd like you to do is to pull your toes up towards you. So pull, pull, pull for one, two, three, and drop down. Good. And again, we'll do the same. Pull your toes up towards you for one, two, three, and drop down. And do that one more. Pull that up for one, two, three, and drop down. And again, just letting your legs, just, that's lovely. So now you've got lovely relaxed body there so that you can do your breathing as freely as you need to be because your diaphragm muscle there is free to move as much as it needs to be. And that hold relax is a really lovely technique to use when you're going to sleep or quite often people say that they're waking up in night, at night and finding it difficult to go back to sleep. Doing that hold relax through your body will really help you to concentrate on that rather than the fact that you can't sleep and will help you to drop off again. And that's really important. You can also do it in sitting as well. That doesn't matter, but the most relaxed position you can be in is in lying so that the bed takes the whole of your body and ensures that you're relaxing the whole of your body. So again, if you could just put your hand on your tummy there, really important. So now we're nice and relaxed, not using our shoulders, making sure that we're using the ribs and the diaphragm there to do the gentle breath. Okay, you see my hands are moving. These hands are moving as well, nice and gentle, nice and gentle. And we're not getting much movement from here at all. And that's really important, okay. So what we need to do now is just make sure that with our breathing, what can happen if we're not feeling so relaxed, our breathing rate can increase to get us ready to run or to um, take on all the stresses that we do. So what we're going to do this time is to be doing gentle breathing, but to extend the length of your inspiration, your expiration. So breathing in and out for a longer period of time to help slow down your breathing rate even more. Okay, really important to not be moving the top part of your chest again and to be using your diaphragm and your ribs there for the movement. So this time I want you to breathe in for four and breathe out for five, okay? So when you're ready, gentle breath in for one, two, three, four, out for one, two, three, four, five, and rest. In for one, two, three, four, out for one, two, three, four, five, and rest. In for one, two, three, four, out for one, two, three, four, five, and rest. And that's nice and gentle coming from the tummy, no movement from this top part of the chest, just making the movement as much in the diaphragm and very little from the top part of your chest, okay? And that again can be practiced through the day. The easiest position is doing it in lying, but once you've mastered that, you can even do that in sitting and also when you're walking as well to help you with any breathlessness that you might get when you're walking around. Okay, so the next position that I'd like to show you is sitting up in a position 
to show you if you do start feeling a bit short of breath, um, particularly after you've been exercising, but also if you've just been moving around and you feel that your breath has got a bit out of control. We call it stop, drop and flop. At this point, what I'd like you to do is to put your elbows on your knees, leaning forwards, making sure that your shoulders aren't moving, that your diaphragm is what's being used and that you're making yourself feel nice and relaxed. And in this position, it means that you can use your diaphragm really efficiently. And particularly in this position, what you need to do is blow out through your lips. So blow out first, gentle breath in through your nose. And this is particularly useful if you feel that your breathing has got a bit out of control, you're feeling a bit more short of breath, and it will help you to regain control of your breathing because it stops your shoulders from moving and makes sure that you're getting gentle breathing from your diaphragm, but blowing out first so that you can feel the ventilation coming right to the bottom of your lungs and breathing in through your nose gently. And it's the elastic recoil of the lungs that draws the air in. So it's a very passive movement and makes it very easy and relaxing for you. So you can either do this sitting on a chair, you can do this leaning forwards onto a table, or you can even do it leaning against a wall as well. So nice and gentle not using the shoulders and doing nice, gentle tummy breaths. So that's the end of the relaxation breathing session. And what I hope you've gained from this is learning how to do these breathing control exercises yourself. It's really important that you do practice them each day, giving yourself some time to practice and to get to a point that you can do this automatically yourself, making sure you have your hand on your tummy, on the top part of your chest, making sure your shoulders are relaxed and your breathing is coming gently from your tummy. So when you take a breath in, your tummy comes out and when you breathe out, your tummy goes in. As your lungs are like two balloons, when you fill them up with air, they're going to expand and when the air releases, they're going to deflate and that needs to be coming from your tummy. So good luck, hope you've enjoyed this session and keep working at your breathing.